Hello, it's Rick Bo. We just got back from a camping trip and our main slide motor, you can hear it running, but I guess the gears are stripped. And this is, this is where you access it with the handle, the manual handle to get it out. But I was gonna pull this inspection cover off. and see what it looks like, see if I can get the motor off and maybe order a new one. Never had one of these off before, so I don't know exactly how it's held on there. But all I can see is the big Maybe this big bolt here holds it under this slide out mechanism. Let me loosen that up and see if this thing will come off. And backing that bolt out. I don't know if it fits into a hole on that shaft or or if it's just a swedge bolt. Okay, I backed it out to where it's loose now. Take it all the way out. See if that loosened anything up. Oh yeah. No, I think it just probably slides off there. I've still got the electrical hooked up. There's enough wire where I've got it sitting all the way on the ground. Okay, it's the red wire to the black wire and the black wire to the white wire. The way they've got it hooked up. Let's take this cover off here. Let's see what it looks like in here. Stripped out gears. And that's if I could just find that gear. Because the motor's still good. Okay, here's the inside of this slide out motor. Everything is metal gears, except for this one plastic gear, and that's what's stripped out. You can see the bad places in it. See that? motor is the smallest then it drives this big plastic gear and then the plastic gear drives this smaller 
steel gear and then this is what actually moves the slide room so I'm sure I'm gonna have to buy the whole whole new motor but I'm gonna look and see if there's any components available for it it sure would be nice if I could just replace that that gear that plastic gear okay I got my gear in I found it on it's Tucson RV brakes RV brakes LLC This is the uh, part number. I had to do a lot of searching on the internet to find the right one. Most places said that it was not available. You had to buy this whole this whole assembly. And the cheapest I found this was uh, I think $199 on eBay Amazon had it for 219 but I kept searching and I found this gear for $50 this one here's got teeth missing stripped out and I wasn't sure if this is going to be the right one or not but it fits perfect So I fixed my living room slide for $50 instead of $200 and they went up from there some of them, some of them were $300, $350 so if you have a slide problem and you're, you can hear your motor running but it doesn't move the slide it's probably this gear probably strip the teeth off of it because these other gears they're metal there's no way they're going to strip out and if this one lasts as long as the first one this is a 2005 model fifth wheel so if it lasts as long as that I'll be I'll be happy and it's real easy to remove so anyway, I thought I'd give you that information. And uh, I've got my slide motor put back together with the new gear on it. I'm about ready to reinstall it. I noticed the shaft that turns the slide out is almost straight across and this one is at an angle so I need to turn that to where it'll line up with that shaft and there's only one one bolt that holds it on it goes through a hole in that tube and locates it. So now all I got left to do is hook up the wiring. Before I button up the underbelly of the fifth wheel, I'm gonna try this slide, make sure it works. Okay. Cross your fingers. can't come all the way in because I haven't moved everything out of the way it seems to be working good okay let's go back out
Well, seem to work fine. I'll button it back up. But that's a $50 fix for a $250 part. So if that'll help anybody out, look back at the part numbers and order it. Save yourself money. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos. We'll talk to everybody later. Bye.